Hello everyone, my name is Professor Albert Nygren. I'm the executive director and the curator of the New Jersey Film Festival, and I'm very proud to say we've been running this festival for 43 years. This fall, we have an amazing lineup of movies that'll be available online and in person, and today we have a very special filmmaker here that I'm going to interview. Um, but before I do that, go to njfilmfest.com, click on current events, and hit that red button for the Fall 2024 New Jersey Film Festival so you can get complete information about our lineup. We're going to be showing movies between September 6th and October 18th on select Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. The movies are available for the most part online, and there's a number of shows that are in person. So if you buy a ticket, it's good for the in-person version as well as the online version. So come and join us in person if you can, and if not, you're welcome to watch in your home. Today we have a wonderful filmmaker here. Her name is Kiana Rosa Fisher. She's from this area, right? Yeah, Highland Park. And she's been dancing for a long time, and she's based at Rutgers University. And we're going to be showing her new experimental film, which is called These Years. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Kiana, so tell us, what was the genesis of making this film? How did, how did it come to be? Um, not, there wasn't a lot of premeditation on the film. I think subconsciously, obviously, there mm. was. And then that all came forth in shooting it, making it, moving, editing. Uh, but very little premeditation. I got pregnant with my third. Mm. And as a freelance performer and choreographer, particularly with dancer, using your body, pregnancy always feels like a, it's a wonderful thing, but then it's a lead weight. Oh yeah. my goodness, yeah, it's like, oh, and then I have to restart the clock. And I've performed pregnant. Um, I've choreographed and done work, or shown work, uh, right, like postpartum. But I think there was this like little voice that said you got to do something like now mm. um here's the third and honestly i was planning to have my third a little later and this was a surprise wow. and so that almost i guess that was the impetus i just mm. called up my sister-in-law who's a professional dancer mm. and i said hey you want to do a film and we made a film <laughs> it's just really beautiful. I mean, it's set, I guess, near the Raritan River in a mm -hmm. kind of open space. And we were talking about that. I kind of yeah. think I know where you shot your film. <laughs> and then I, I liked it so much because you're both dressed in white mm. and you both kind of have the same outfits. And I thought that there is a symbiosis between you. And I thought maybe she was your sister. And there was yeah. a connection because you look similar to uh -huh. each other. And I thought, well, maybe this is a kind of doppelganger film where we have mm -hmm. a doubling. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I love the way the movements take place in between shots with you and your son. Yes. And so it's given, I mean, the film is about motherhood. Yes. And are the movements meant to kind of suggest motherhood? Yes, definitely so. I mean, you have very specific gestures of me on my mm -hmm. abdomen it's much smaller at the time so maybe yeah. it's not as easy to tell um but yeah and to to that point of it being a doppelganger i was interested in showing the conflict and the tension within motherhood of freedom and duty mm -hmm. and saying okay hannah you're going to be you are a body in which there is no one in you. You do not have that responsibility. And so let's utilize your body in that way mm. and that story and utilize my body in how it is in this way. Yeah, but I'm, I mean, the film itself features the blue sky, the mm. green of the park that you mm -hmm. shot in. And then, but the gestures are very pronounced. And mm. the way that you fill the space with the body is very angular. And I wonder, was that something that was very conscious when you were shooting, or did it just come out that way? I mean, are the gestures right. meant to symbolize certain things in your mind? Probably, again, probably uh, subconsciously. Mm. There wasn't, uh, in previous films that I have done, mm. uh, just, you know, on my own time and whatnot, I right. did choreograph and then teach it to the dancers and say this is what we're doing mm -hmm. or choreograph it on myself and then film it this one was m almost all improv there was just a score a general score and right. this is what we need to follow and so the the angular lines the movement vocabulary any images that maybe were repetitive mm. 
we're all on the fly, I tend to be, I tend to have more linear movement that softens and then hardens. Right. Uh, so does Hannah. Um, she mm -hmm. has the same. So I think that was just coming forth, but mm. it did contrast well with the beauty of nature. Yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. I mean, there is a kind of integration that I felt, and the music is just amazing. Yes, the music who, who, was wonderful. Where did you get this music from? This is Aaron Martin, and I hope I pronounced his name correctly, but Doc Rosenvist, they collaborated on this oh. um, yeah, this Did they music. score to the finished film or was it? Oh no, this was their own like creation and uh -huh. then I reached out to them and said, you know, said. So did you dance to the score? I, I mean, pretty much did, yeah. So I, mm. once I knew, I was like, I think I want to do a dance film. I'm feeling it that I have to move <laughs> and I don't have a theater or a gig right now. So this is what we're going to do. Mm. Um, I just kind of went through my Spotify playlist of songs I really like and I said oh this is one that's calling to me I'm yeah that's wonderful yeah. well I I know that I said I know this person because when I saw you on the screen I recognized you and then I realized that we had shown a film that you were in yes. last year and in fact we had John Evans who's a Rutgers professor and you were part of Breaking the Surface which was a a kind of environmental dance yes. film that we premiered last mm -hmm. year. So I, it was nice. I said, well, c I'm really glad that she's branching out and making her own films yeah. because you had a really great presence in that film as well. Yeah, I love that project of John's. Well, folks, you've got to absolutely see these years. It's part of our shorts program lineup on Friday, September 13th. Yes, it's Black Friday. Black <laughs> Friday. But it's going to be a great <laughs> Friday because it's going to be online for 24 hours and then it'll be an in-person show at 7 p.m. And Kiana's going to be there with a number of the other filmmakers. We are showing an animated film from Madrid, Spain called Red Snow. There's a film by an East Brunswick filmmaker, a young man named Elijah Reese and Jacob Paul, two young men. Jacob grows six more years in one second. We're showing a film by a filmmaker from Oakland, California called Ryan Kurt Whiting and his film is called The Dog Days. It's a really sweet, mm. sentimental film. And then an environmental film called Spirit of Place, which features Mark Rylance, who's a fairly well-known actor. And then a film about organic farming by a Canadian filmmaker, and it's called Meaty. So those are all the short films we're showing with yours, and we look forward to seeing you there, and we look forward to seeing our audience there, too. Thanks yes. so much for Thank joining us. Thank you so us. much. Thank you. Is anyone else here with me?